again first activate the display grid again display display grid option next one is the arc again we have different types of arc just add on first one is the three point three point arc different types of arc three point also known as a tangent end you can create three point arc and also you can create a tangent end arc also next one is the center and ends center and ends next one three tangent concentric conic three tangent concentric conic shape now see here first to define the three point three point means again you can define one arc by using three reference point for example first line second line so uh, okay no problem again next one select the three point first reference point second reference point again this is the third reference point okay that is about the three point arc control alt e delete next one is the center and ends again center point specify the start point end point as per the requirement next one three tangent same example again you can design three circles also again select the three tangent first one second one and third one again same thing first one second one third one okay that is about the first tangent point second tangent and third tangent point next next one is the concentric concentric means again you can prepare number of arcs by selecting one existing arc okay concentric select this one again define first point next point again first point next point again first point next point okay then next one is the conic shape what is the difference between circle and conic conic again circle means center point to any point in the outer world same value again conic means with respect to center value different okay again conic shape first time going to design the conic base line now this is the base line again you can see here again you can specify the location existing location again what happened again you can assume this is the center point with respect to center outer location is the different different values different different values again the value depend upon the rho rebounding value rebounding values okay again again this conic highly used in the very highly used in the surface designs okay again see here again this is the rho value again this is the rho value again the rh value lies between 0 to 1 now i am going to change 0.99 okay now again you can see there again you can increase the value mm. the curvature form the curvature changes to conic shape conic. cone format sharp point format again changes to 0 0.1 okay again changes to 0 0.5 okay then next write on ellipse okay first one is the axis and again and ellipse having one major axis and one and minor and axis again same thing first you define major axis. major axis then you can define minor axis again you can change the values now this one changes to 50 again this one changes to 15 okay again this is the ends method again next one is the center, center method first to define the center point now we can define axis, axis. again you can define minor, minor axis. axis same thing okay just wait okay just wait just wait i will explain again these are related to 3d these three tools inspection tools again next one that is the ellipse next one is the Spline. Spline. Spline means we can create a continuous source. Continuous source with different radius of curvature. With a different radius of curvature. Again, spline. First point. Next. 
next moments next okay just enter escape. i can see here now this is the first end point of this plane again this is the last point of this plane now first point and last point are known as a end points of a plane end points of a plane again the points present between the end points the points present between the end points are known as a interpolating interpolating points inter interpolating points again you can change the shape of this plane just you can drag the interpolating points again you can control the shape of this plane again you can drag the interpolating points again i am going to match this point with respect to this end point again just drag just to connect this point. okay and just interpolating ante madhyalo eda oka dan value ankodaniki plan then next one is the fillet again you have different types of fillets circular fillet circular trim again fillet with trim operation again next one is the elliptical next one is the elliptical trim just add on this one again this one is done for now fill it for that purpose just i am going to design one rectangle again design one corner also again next one apply the fillet first one is the circular only circular circular just select this one and select this one again this is the fillet means round means radius circular means radius again you can control the value also here then value again you can control changes to 5 okay again next select the fillet again this one and this one again change this one to five okay again see here again now we can see the dotted lines here mm. now this dotted line represent already existing mm. corners yes. again you can also trim this corner lines mm. for that purpose you can use the circular yeah. trim by using yeah. circular trim option so by we using we can remove the extension extend lines also mm. extra lines also again circular trim again now this time i'm going to apply this corner first one second one again you can change the radius value 10 not 10 5 okay now see here free from the extend lines corner lines nothing but corner lines free from the corner lines again with corner lines okay that is about the hmm, sorry fillet fillet circular and circular trim elliptical and negative okay next one is the elliptical shape elliptical means again you can define major axis minor axis format first you can select the lines again see here 0.42 is the horizontal direct sorry this is the vertical value again this is the what value vertical dimension vertical one is the minor axis again i am going to change 0.5 okay again see here again i am going to choose this one again this one changes to 1 okay now it to and next one next the same thing with that is in that uh, corner line. same corner again you can remove the corner lines mm -hmm. purpose again you can remove corner. by using elliptical trim you can also remove the corner, corner lines again next one is the chamfer chamfer yes. chamfer slant edge mm -hmm. okay blend corner nothing but again same thing two type chamfer and chamfer trim mm. chamfer means without corner lines again chamfer trim means with the corner, corner lines okay again select the chamfer first line second line again you can adjust the values okay vertical direction 3 mm, again horizontal direction five okay again again this is the chamfer with simple chamfer again corner dotted lines again next apply the chamfer trim chamfer trim this one and this one without extra without corner lines okay that is about the chamfer and chamfer trim next one is the text, text. okay again you can design text on designing 
now text select the text option first you can define the height of the text by defining one line now this is my starting point i am going to move now this line represent height of the text just right then you can design the text in the text box okay text again you can have any symbol symbolic representation different types of symbol just you can use it okay just close again you can see different types of font styles similar to ms office different types of font styles again position is the left positioning again changes to right positioning right side expanding with respect to line designing next one center again changes to right left okay again next one is the middle with respect to line again next one same thing top again you can change the accept ratio nothing but width factor of the letter width factor of the okay. letter again change this one to 2 okay again you can check the preview again change this one to 3 okay again you can always set one 95% use only one right. value again you can specify the slanting angle okay. letter tilting angle 20 degrees again 35 degrees okay just work okay. now this part okay now again i am going to text with respect to my curve again is the text with only either horizontal or vertical direction again i am going to design text with respect to one curve for that purpose i am going to design one curve arc now arc okay again see here first i am going to activate the construction mode not a mandatory again you can design directly also again you can design directly first one hmm phone activate i know first point next one this is my again i am going to design text with respect to this arc okay okay then again select the hmm just wait again design one arc again select the select text specify the start point then you can define the height mm. height again you can design the text okay now see last option placing along, along the curve select the curve okay again you can design spline also again i am going to design one spline first okay again text now this is my starting point again you can design the text again placing along the curve select the curve okay that is about the text option just write on the examples offset by using offset by using offset by using offset you can prepare similar lines comma curves similar lines comma curves with respect to specified value with respect to specified value with respect to specified value now see here now i am going to design one line okay again i am going to design one more similar line again i am going to design one more similar, similar line again the new line and this line the distance between them equal to some 20 the distance between them equal to 100 20 again by using offset you can prepare similar lines are curves by specified value by specified value select the offset just close this one again your offset having three format single format chain format loop format first you can select the single single means just you can select only single element okay. again select this one again see the arrow direction is the positive direction again opposite to arrow direction is the negative yeah. direction now i am going to enter the value here now my value equal to some 20 mm. again see here again you can design one more similar line here again again i am going to design one more one mm. select this one mm. again this is the arrow direction again this time i am going to specify minus 5 mm. again you can design similar okay minus means opposite to direction that is about the offset with single okay offset with single next you can see the chain operation now i'm going to design two lines here just i'm going to design two lines two lines again apply the offset first close this one chain. then select the chain. chain 
again this is the first one this is the second one again this is the direction now i am going to specify minus 5 opposite direction again we can design one more one again the distance between 5 again this one also 5 again next one is the loop operation loop means one complete closed object okay. one complete closed object now i am going to design one rectangle again select the offset select the loop operation select this one specify the value 2 again you can design one more one again complete loop designing select this one again this time specify minus 2 outside okay that is about the offset operation again write down offset with single offset with chain offset with loop offset with single offset chain offset loop thicken what is the definition thicken definition by using thicken we can create uh, entities by offsetting and parent structure entities on both sides now in design i am going to design one line okay now again i am going to design offset operation on two sides, two sides. at a time just you can apply the thicken operation again you can see again thicken single with open again thicken single with flat connection again thicken single with circular connection again same thing chain with open chain with flat chain with circular again loop means anything same okay now see here first you can enter the thickness value thickness is nothing but thickness is nothing but the total distance between the two lines okay first i am going to thickness equal to 20 again you can specify the offset value offset means from parent element to new element distance one side okay now one side equal to 10 again see here again you can design two lines here again you can see the different types of connections now currently open connection open means the ends are under open connectivity okay next one see again this is the flat connection next one is the circular okay just see again select the line okay again apply the thicken thickness value 20 again before going to that first you can set the setting now single with flat connection then select this one total value 10 offset value 5 okay again you can see the flat connection here okay again you can see next one is the circular connection same thing thicken operation select the single width circular select this component thickness value 10 again offset equal to 5 again you can specify any value again you can see the circular connection okay Again, you can reduce the time of the design. You can reduce the time of design. Again, this is the single object. Again, delete this one. Again, I am going to apply chain condition. Same thing. Again, select the thicken. Again, apply the both this one first. Chain with open connection. Select this one and uh, this one. Again, thickness value 10. Again, 10 means uh, direction side is the 7 this side is the 7 this side is the 3 again the total value is the 10 the total value is the 10 again you can see the chain with flat connection chain with circular connection again the can operation select the single flat chain chain okay select this one and this one same 10 value 7 okay again you can see the connection here after that you can delete these lines again next one is the circular connection thicken operation select chain with respect to circular this one and this one 10 value 3 value ok connection just close that is about the thicken again one more one is the loop operation again thicken Again, loop mean flat and everything is the same here. Again, total thickness 5. Again, offset is the 2.5. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Select the thicken loop. Again, select this one. Thickness 5, value 2.5. Okay, data. Then you can delete this one. Close. That is about the thicken operation next one is the palette means again palette means again the palette operation the palette tool having some data okay. 
the palette operation having some data. Depend upon the uses, depend upon the requirement, just you can copy paste option. Again, you can import data from palette to working space. Okay. Select the palette first, mm -hmm. just wait, loading. Again, see here, documents, different types of shapes. Okay. okay. Again, next one. Next one is the polygons, polygons mm -hmm. profiles, mm -hmm. shapes, mm -hmm. stars, different types of symbols. Some regular shapes mm. Again, see here. Again, polygons. Now I'm going to design one hexagon. hexagon. Okay. Mm. Again, we have two procedure. Directly double click on the. Mm. Again, you can single click on okay. workspace. Again, you can adjust the all values. Okay. Just okay. Mm. Again, design here. Again, you can change the side here. Now side changes to ten. Mm. Okay. Mm. Again, one more method is the. Again, single click. Again, drag the mouse and place here. Mm. Again, okay. Same thing again. You can change the dimension. Okay. Ten value. Okay. Mm. Again, different types of profiles. C profile, I profile. Different types of profiles. Mm. Same thing. Again, okay. Then you can edit the dimensions. Okay. After that, after completion of the designing, you can edit the Dimension. dimensions. Okay. Again, different types of shapes. Okay. Everything will be present here. Star symbols. Okay, just you can import the data. Mm -hmm. Just write on palette and thicken. Thicken on this now. Palette. Palette operation. Import data. Import data from a palette, from a palette into the active object. Active object workspace. Active object workspace. Next one. Now see here, center line point coordinate system. Again, these are the same thing here. Center line point coordinate system. First time going to design the center. one center line. Same thing. Again, H represent horizontal. Same point. Okay. Same coordinate system. Again, what is the difference between this one and this one? Now, these are the datum features. These are the directly designing. Okay. okay. Again, while designing some of the features, while this again center line, select this one to this one. Mm, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is about the this option. Next one is the all are the sketching tools. Mm -hmm. All are the Sketching tools. Next one is the just write down editing tools. Editing tools. Editing tools. Next one is the editing. First one just write. First one is the mirror operation. What is the use of the mirror? Again, we can create similar objects in opposite side by using some central reference. By using some central. Now I'm going to design one rectangle. Again. One more one again, one circle also. Okay, now I am going to design central reference. Okay, again I am going to select these geometries. Again, apply the mirror. Again, select this one. Again, this time I am going to select this one. Again, you can see for multi selection purpose. Again, this is the one set. Again, you can select the other set. Again, you can select other set. What happened? First one is the dehydrate condition, disable condition. Again, you can select this one. This is the disable yeah. condition. Again, you can select multi purpose. Mm. Just you can press the control. Mm. Again, select this one. Mm. Okay. Then apply the mirror. Then you can select this one. Mm. Same thing. With respect to central line. That is about the mirror operation. Mm. Just note this. Currently, arrangement is mm. rectangle. Again, with respect to angle is 0 degrees. Okay. Basis with respect to zero degree. Again, just I'm going to select this one. Apply the rotated mm. resize. Apply rotated resize. Again, this is the translation from one place to another place. Again, this is the rotation. Another rotating with respect to base point. Again, this is the scaling factor. Okay, scaling factor. Scaling means again you can increase the size. Geometry is either increasing or increment or decrement. Smaller or bigger. Now currently this is the central location source 0, 0 location. 
again I am going to translate this point from one place to another place again what is the direction now in this direction how much value again you can see horizontal equal to how much 5.0 again you can change 10 also again you can change in this location or in this location any location again perpendicular distance is now 5 okay then again you can increase the scaling factor 2 2 times okay again you can see rotating angle again what is the angle currently 14 point again you can specify 35 just to okay apply okay 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 again you can modify the existing object again what type of modification rotate resize and uh, rotate resize and moving mm -hmm. translating okay then next one divide the segment divide the yes. segment now i am going to design one line here mm. now see just i am going to select this one what happened mm. the entire entity act as a the entire line act as a single entity okay. the entire line act as a single entity, single entity. now see here just you can select the divide option now i'm going to divide in this location okay. again the single entity convert to two, entity. two entities mm -hmm. multiple entities mm -hmm. again divide again you can select this one okay then next one divide mirror corner delete segment next one is the modify, modify. again i'm going to design circle by using modify option you can display all the dimension in menu format table format again you can change the all dimensions at a time modify the all the dimension while applying modify first you can select the all the dimensions apply the modify again see here all the dimension will be displaying here again you can change now currently which one is the sd sd means serial number of the dimension again 134 134 again which one this is the again you can change the dimension here okay again what happened here only only this dimension increasing again remaining all are the constant. changing here constant mm -hmm. again see here okay mm -hmm. again six value mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. complete one again you can see that this is the regenerative option regenerative mm -hmm. option again i'm going to apply the mm -hmm. lock scale again you can move here what happened locking scale locking scale what happened here all dimensions changing here now just i am going to design one design here all the dimension 10 5 2 3 4 5 something again i am going to increment all the dimensions by two factor by two value just we can add the two values plus two again what happened all the dimension all entire total dimensions two units adding okay that is the use of the lock that is about the modify option again we highlight this one regenerate to again you can turn this one again what happened only lock scale lock scale means geometry is fixed one only dimension changing again see here no geometrical changing no changing of the size only dimension value only changes again you can activate this one and the total value again we highlight this one only dimension value is very that is about the modify dimension of modify dimension just okay just add on all the tools now constant toolbar first time going to design one now what is the property of this line now this is a inclined line now this is a inclined line again you can convert inclined line to horizontal line for that purpose i am going to use make a horizontal just to select this property again you can apply this one align convert to horizontal again select the vertical again select this one again you can convert vertical okay next one again i am going to design one more line here again these two lines are different direction again i am going to set both two are the parallel direction for that purpose again parallel again this is the first one again this is the second one both are converting to parallel and next one perpendicular again you can see the perpendicular again what is the angle here just wait just i'm going to design this one again you can design one more line okay now what is the angle here less than 90 first of all less than 90 again select the perpendicular first one second one mm, not select. Uh, okay 
again one more one okay again what is the angle changes to 120 okay then you can apply the perpendicular this one to this one again what happened dimension is the again what I, this is the over constraint over constraint means already dimension is existing mm -hmm. then you can delete the dimension mm -hmm. convert to 90. 90 again design one line mm -hmm. again one more one now see here mm -hmm. this one okay mm -hmm. now again apply the perpendicular mm -hmm. this one and this one mm. okay now these two are converting to perpendicular teacher next one is the tangent mm. just i'm going to design one line again you can design one circle now see here apply the tangent this one with respect to this one you can create a tangent of to make a tangent between two geometries again next one first you can see this one midpoint mm. now i am going to design one line mm. again i am going to generate one midpoint in midpoint of this line mm. select the first i am going to generate one point outside mm. again i am going to place this point in exactly in the mm. mid location mm. for that purpose select the midpoint mm. midpoint mm. point and object okay, okay. Mm. again what is the use of this one again you can design entirely outside mm. Again, I'm going to place this circle exactly mm. center location. Mm. Midpoint, this one with respect to this one. Mm. Okay. Again, just wait. I will explain what is the use of this tool. Okay. Just again, next one is the equal. Now again. Okay. Okay. Now see here. Again, select the equal option. This one with respect to this one. Both convert to equal mm. operation. Mm again equal with respect to this one mm. again equal again what happened already dimension is existing mm. again you can delete any one of them mm. again equal mm. all are the equal mm. again not only circles any lines any rectangles also mm. okay and next one is the symmetry symmetry means with respect to central reference mm. both sides same design mm. same demand and the same values now i am going to design one central line first now just i am going to design one line here now what happened here right side is the less value and left side is more value again select the symmetry make a symmetry make a symmetry again no sorry symmetry select the end point then you can select the center reference again you can make a symmetry symmetry means you can place both sides same value that is about the all the properties just right now i'll just First one is the now I am going to design one circuit. Mm. Now currently circle radius equal to changes to 30. Mm. Again I am going to design one more circuit. Mm. Circle with equal radius. Okay. For that purpose, select the circuit, mm. select the center part. Just you can drag the mouse. Mm. Again you can see the constraint R R. Mm. R R represent equal property. Or are represent equal. equal just you can click in this location mm. again i am going to generate one more circle mm. the circle exactly placing mm. in vertical direction okay again select the circuit just i am going to drag the mouse again you can see the points net mm. okay then you can select the point then you can define the mm. same r mm. okay just you can see the points and option just i am going to design two lines coincident coincident this one is the coincident okay uh -huh. again you can place into same direction select the coincident this one and this one okay then next one now again i'm going to design one horizontal line just just you can drag the mouse h symbol represent horizontal then i'm going to design one vertical v symbol okay then again i'm going to stop again i'm going to stop end point exactly with respect to this point just you can drag the mouse now see here is the highlighting mm. coincident representation okay. okay again i am going to design on one line okay mm. now see the equal value ll okay. again what are the ll mm. same length horizontal vertical both are the same length same length okay 
again i am going to design one circle next again i am going to design one circle exactly center location of this line center location of this line select the circle then you can drag the mouse here again what happened now this one is matching with respect to this one not a center uh -huh. point okay again you can drag the mouse uh, midpoint mid again you can design the circle uh -huh. now see here now while designing any geometry while designing any geometry what happened automatic properties will be taking place here uh -huh. just just you can drag the mouse rr some inconveniency just uh, automatically uh -huh. attaching uh -huh. some inconvenience uh -huh. again while designing anything you can press the shift uh -huh. again free from the properties then you can design this one what happened free from the property. property again just leave it again existing properties while designing it the design follows the mm. property again you can press the shift free from the property. properties okay again select this one just click then you can change the dimension okay that is the constraint properties okay